Friends and fellow citizens, I stand before you tonight for the alleged crime of having voted at the last presidential election without having a lawful right to vote. It shall be my work this evening to prove to you that thus voting, I not only committed no crime, but instead simply exercised my citizens' rights guaranteed to me and all United States citizens by the National Constitution beyond the power of any state to deny. The preamble of the federal constitution says, we the people of the United States in order to form a more protected union, establish justice, endure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. It was we the people, not we the white male citizens, nor yet we the male citizens, but we the whole people who formed the union. And we formed it not to give the blessings of liberty, but to secure them. Not to the half of us and to the half of our posterity, but to the whole people, women as well as men. And it is our downright mockery to talk to women to their enjoyment of the blessings of liberty while they are denied the use of the only means of securing them provided by the domestic republic government, the ballot. For any state to make sex a qualification that must ever result in the disfranchisement of the entire half of the people is to pass a bill of a tenor or an ex post facto law it is therefore a violation of the supreme law of the land. By it, the blessings of liberty are therefore withheld for women and their female posterity. To them, this government has no powers derived from the constant of the governed. To them, this government is not democracy. It is not republic. It is an ascrarity and hateful archery of sex the most hateful archery ever existed on the face of the globe, the wealth where the rich govern the poor. Learning where the educated govern the ignorant or even of, of race where the Saxon rules the Amer Afri African might be endured, but this of sex which makes fathers, brothers, husbands, sons over their mothers, sisters, the wives and daughters of every household, which ordains all men's, all women's subject carries discord and rebellion into every home of the nation. Webster, Warcraft, and Boulevard all defined as citizens to a persons in the United States entitled to vote and hold office. The only question left to settle now is, are women persons? And I hardly believe any of our opponents will have the hard hood to say that we're not. Being persons, then women are citizens, and no state has the right to make any law or to enforce any law that shall abridge their privileges. Hence, Every discrimination against women in the constitution of law of the several states is today null and void, precisely as is everyone against Negroes. Susan B. Anthony, 1873.